Finally, we make the balance sheet. Receipts and payments account over. Income and expenditure. So we know the surplus or the deficit which is to be taken to the balance sheet. So what does the balance sheet have? <clears throat> How do you prepare a balance sheet? Balance sheet we start off with the opening accumulated fund or capital fund <clears throat> or it's sometimes called a general fund. So if it is an existing NPO, there would be an opening balance of this accumulated fund or a capital fund or a general fund. If it's the first year of operation, whatever surplus is earned will go towards the accumulated fund. <clears throat> then we have already made the receipts and payments account from where we get the closing balance of cash and bank. From the receipts and payments account, we know the fixed assets, additions and disposals. Additions and disposals. Depreciation, we know from the income and expenditure account as per the rules of the organization, depreciation would have been charged and should have been recorded in the income and expenditure account. This is also from the receipts and payments. So closing balance of cash and bank from receipts and payments, assets, additions and disposals from receipts and payments account, adjust opening liabilities. So in the opening balance sheet, we have the opening accumulated fund to which would be added the surplus or a def or deficit would be subtracted, which we get from the income expenditure account. We have the closing balance of cash, we have the closing balance of bank. From the receipts and payments, we get fixed assets. We get additions, disposals, etc. of assets. Opening liabilities, we had an opening balance sheet, we had opening liabilities from the receipts through the receipts and payments account or otherwise we know what is the adjustment to the opening liabilities. For example, subscription received in advance. If that subscription relates to the current year, it would be adjusted. The extent that relates to the current year would be adjusted in the income expenditure account and the balance would still be an advance and would be carried forward to the closing balance sheet. If there were opening creditors, opening some other liabilities, some loans to be repaid, depending on the flow, these would be adjusted and we would find their closing balances. <clears throat> we look at all capital items from the receipts and payments account. Maybe assets, maybe liabilities. So the balance sheet, you begin with the accumulated, with an opening balance sheet. The opening accumulated fund would be brought forward. Closing balance of cash and bank would be brought forward. From the receipts and payments, all movements, all capital items, whether assets or liabilities should be taken care of. Opening liabilities which are there in the opening balance sheet, if nothing, there has been no adjustment in the receipts and payments, they will may find a place in the closing balance sheet and such adjustments need to be looked into. <clears throat> With this, we prepare the closing balance sheet and know the financial position of the organization, non-profit organization on the date of closing. So balance sheet is like the balance sheet of a profit organization. It is prepared on a particular date and is a statement of financial position consisting of assets and liabilities. A statement of assets and liabilities. A balance sheet is a statement, not an account. It is a statement of the assets and liabilities on a particular date.